Hello, as you will see, I am not looking my best right now. Um, I'm in my pyjamas, my Christmas pyjamas, and it's still daytime, but um, I've not been very well today, so Andrew's had to take the day off work to watch the kids. Actually, I say I'm not well. I feel okay. What? Let's rewind. So, last night, um, Autumn was up for a bottle. Andrew was giving her a bottle, and he asked if I would nip downstairs and get a, her, one of her muslins. And I wasn't asleep yet. It must have been about, like, 11 o'clock, maybe. So I went downstairs and I like tripped and fell and I bashed my leg really bad, it was really sore, I bashed it off like a unit. Um, and I was like, oh my goodness, I've hurt my leg, it's so sore. And Andrew's like, how did you do that? Like, because normally he's the clumsy one and he was, he said, if I, he'd done that, I would have had a go at him and said, why are you so clumsy? Like, be more careful. Um, and it's not like me to do stuff like that, it was really sore. Um, and then I was lying in bed and I felt like the room was spinning. But I thought, I'm probably just really tired. It was quite late and I'd been on the computer all evening working. Um, my hair's still wet, I'm not long showered. Um, so I thought, I'll just go to sleep. So I went to sleep. A couple of hours later, I woke up to go to the toilet. And I sat up in bed and again, it felt like the room was spinning. And I thought, oh, I've sat up too quickly. Um, so I just gave myself a moment, just sat on the edge of the bed. And then when I felt okay, I got up and... I, just, I basically couldn't stand, I couldn't walk, I, I felt like I was falling over. So yeah, so I, I did make it to the bathroom, um, but I, I kept feeling like I was going to fall over. So I got to the toilet and then when I came back I, I said to Andrew, something's not right. I'm like, I can't stand or walk, I'm like, I feel like I'm falling over, I'm so dizzy. I feel like the room's spinning even when I'm lying down. I said, I think something's not right. Um, and I was a little bit scared actually, truth be told because I was like, what's going on? Um, so he was like, okay, that's fine. So Autumn often wakes in the night a couple of times like to get her, her dummy or whatever, because it's fallen out and she needs it put back in. Um, and I couldn't even do that because I couldn't stand up without feeling like I was about to fall over. So at least he knew and he was able to do that. Um, and then, yeah, so I went back to sleep. I woke up this morning, still felt the same. Um, I'm wondering if it's, I've heard of people having labyrinthitis and I wonder if it could be that. Um, I think it's like an inner ear thing that affects your balance. Like I feel completely fine, like I don't feel like I've got an ear infection, like it's not sore or anything. Um, I don't have a sore head, I don't feel unwell, but I just feel so dizzy. I feel, the only way I can describe it is it feels like I'm walking on a bouncy castle or like on a boat or something. It's like I can't, I just feel like I'm going to fall over. So, that's a bit of a nightmare. So there's nothing I could do other than like lie in bed today. So I've I've slept quite a lot actually, um, which is good. That I've caught up in rest since I couldn't do anything else anyway. Um, and I was going to try and do a little bit of work on my laptop, but to be honest, I I think probably it's not very a good idea to do that because it's probably not going to help me any by looking at a screen. But also I just didn't know if I would manage like with all the when you're editing there's a lot of like shifting things around on the screen and I'm not sure if that would, I, I could have done that. So anyway, I've been in bed most of the day, Andrew's like had to say to work that he couldn't work um, but he has been like managing to do bits and pieces around autumn. Um, basically what I do on a daily basis when I work, I have to like answer emails and fit things in around autumn. Um, yeah, so he's done that and there's no one home at the moment because Caitlin's not home from school yet. Andrew's away to pick up Elle from school but she has tap today. So he has to pick her up. This is what I would normally do, pick her up, take her back to the car because there's only half an hour between school and tap so it's not worth coming home. So she gets changed in the car, we give her a snack and I just take her to tap and usually I hang around for the half hour um, the tap's on and then take her home because it's not worth going home um, for half an hour. But especially with Autumn having to get her in and out of the car, buggy, all that. Um, but I think one of my friends is kindly offered to take Elle home after tap because her little girl goes as well. 
So hopefully Andrew will be able to just pop her in and then come home and not have to worry about going back. So that would be good. Um, I am managing to move about now. Um, it's later on in the afternoon now, obviously. So um, I came down the stairs very carefully. Um, so I'm downstairs now. I've actually just got myself a cup of tea and some biscuits. I'm on the sofa on my in my clean jammies after my shower. I had a shower just sitting in the bath. Um, and I feel really good for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a cup of tea and some biscuits. I might attempt to do some work because I am feeling, I think I feel a little bit better. I don't know if I feel a little bit better or I've just got used to it a bit more now. Because um, it was quite scary at first when everything was like moving. But I think I've kind of, it's a bit like when you're on a boat. And at first it feels really weird but then you kind of adapt. I think it might be like that. So I'm going to have a cup of tea and biscuits, try and get some work done and then Caitlin will be home soon and I will try and get some dinner on. She might help me with that. I'll probably just shove something in the oven really easy like I think we've got chicken Kievs. I quite fancy a chicken Kiev. So we might have those. Um, but yeah, this is a bit of a boring vlog but I just wanted to fill you in with what's been going on. Uh, I uploaded my first vlogmas video last night. Am I going to upload every day of vlogmas? Probably, probably, probably not, but we might try, we'll see. I'm certainly going to be uploading more than I would usually and I always get such a good response from you guys when I upload more regularly. I get really nice messages from people saying that they are so glad that I'm more present I guess online so yeah thank you for that if you're one of those people. And yeah if there's anything in particular you'd like to see over Vlogmas in the run up to Christmas let me know because one of my favourite YouTubers I was watching last night, Lose It Like Lauren, had po said at the end of her video, what would I, what would every, what would I like, what would me personally like to see from her? She did say that. She was asking what anyone would like to see from her um, and I thought that was such a good idea to just ask, what do you want to see? Um, I was interested to see what things she'd bought for her family members for Christmas. So I commented and said that. Um, what would you like to see from me? I have a few ideas. Um, you guys like my grocery hauls and meal plans and things like that so I thought I would do a Christmas Day meal plan and a grocery haul of my Christmas Day food and I thought I might do some more planner videos in the run up to Christmas. So if you'd like to see them let me know in the comments and if there's any specific kind of planner videos you'd like. If you're someone that watches planner videos you might know a specific kind of planner video you like, let me know. Or if there's anything you'd like to know how I plan and be in the run up to Christmas, let me know. But yeah, this is a bit of a non-vlog, but I want to fill you in with what's been going on. I don't want to not upload anything. But how is your advent going? Are you doing Elf on the Shelf? This is our first year doing Elf on the Shelf. I've never done it before. This is my 13th year of parenting. Uh, for some reason I just decided to do it this year. Maybe I'm mad. But I think maybe we've had such a rubbish year with Covid and I just feel like this year I want to really go for it and have like a really nice Christmas and have lots of like magic and fun. So we're doing Elf in the Shelf, our first year. And it's going well so far. We're on day one. <laughs> day two, I guess. It's first day of being moved. Um, and we've been doing our kindness advent calendar, which is above me. Ooh. My, my camera wasn't screwed in, obviously. Um, that was what my video was last night, was sharing how I made our kindness advent calendar. I didn't actually, because I've been in my bed today, I haven't actually had a chance to ask Elle what... Well, I haven't seen her since she went to school, and she didn't tell me this morning um, what um, her kindness challenge was this morning, so I'm going to ask her when she gets home. I'm just watching our neighbours, um, Gracie across the road and her friend, are doing TikToks in their garden. So cute. I know TikTok has a bit of a negative, um, what's the word? Like people don't approve of kids doing like TikTok dances and things, but I think it's really nice for them to learn little routines and things. I think it's nice. Anyway, I better go and get on with these videos. I feel like my ears are, are a bit achy now, but I don't know if it's because I'm thinking about it too much. Maybe. Uh, what have I got to edit? I've got my vlog from yesterday to edit. I've got a beauty video to edit, which is my morning makeup um, routine. And I've got another haul to edit. 
I've got a whole film actually. That, um, it's a prim another Primark one. I've already uploaded a Primark video. Um, on Sunday night I uploaded one which was a haul and try on. And I bought so much in Primark I had to split it into two videos. So there was that one. But I've also got um, a bag still full of like gifts for people from Primark. So I'm going to do like a Christmas gift haul from Primark. So yeah, I'm going to go and get on with that. Have my tea and biscuits. I hope you're all well. I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. And hopefully the next video will be something a little bit more interesting. But I will speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.